So you might be bored of aping into NFTs, but a new partnership between the band Avenged Sevenfold and Ticketmaster shows they are far from dead. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. So what's the deal with NFTs and concert tickets? Well, as you may know, NFTs have gained traction in Web3 communities, giving access to live events and digital spaces. Ticketmaster is taking it to the next level by allowing artists to offer special event and ticket access to eligible NFT holders. If only they'd been a little bit swifter, they might have avoided issues earlier this year. Ticketmaster's token gating feature is now available to any artist. Really, the sky's the limit when it comes to what an artist is willing to offer their fans if they hold an NFT. And I feel like this is just the start of seeing real world benefits for digital asset ownership. So you wanna build your own NFT gate? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's take a look at some code. They'll show you how to do it. Make sure first that they have a wallet installed in their browser. If they don't, we'll error out and say, hey, we don't have that and we need to install something like MetaMask. Next, we'll need to set up the ABI and contract address of the NFT where it's deployed. Essentially what we're doing is we're using the Ethereum object from the window, getting the contract ABI, which describes everything the contract can do, and the address where the contract is deployed. Once we have that, we'll need to actually instantiate a new instance of that contract to interact with it. Then we can look and see that the user is actually who they say they are. We'll go ahead and grab their address and signature and we'll have them sign it. This will ensure that we know that the user is in control of the wallet. Once we have that address and we've verified that the address from the wallet is the same one that signed that message, we can then check and make sure that that address owns an NFT. Now, most NFTs have a balance of function in them. It's part of the ERC-721 standard. So we'll be using that and checking that the balance of the address that we are using is greater than zero. That means they have one of the NFT. Next, we'll actually put all this into use. So we'll have a function here that will go ahead and get the accounts. It will then look at the user's address, verify that they have a valid signature if they don't say, hey, you don't actually control this wallet. And then finally, it will check if the user has one of the NFTs that we're looking for. If it does, we'll log that result of yes, they do. If they don't, then we'll say no, they don't actually own this. Now, this here in the if statement down at the bottom is where you want to do any sort of passing a Boolean back for do we want to allow them to proceed or not. And that's it, a basic example of what you'd need to set up your own NFT gated website. So what do you think about this new era of tickets when it comes to owning digital assets like NFTs and having real world implications? Leave a comment down below and don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.